Hi guys, I welcome you all to this new current affairs series which is brought to you by EduTap. Now introducing you to the new series, let me tell you that through this series we aim to cover the agriculture related news right from the month of January 2018. Now these news are going to be very important for the NABAD grade A examination and AF4 examination which is held under IBPS. Okay, so now see these uh, new series are going to be important for AF4 but uh, as in the NABAD grade A usually the questions are asked from the past six months current affairs. So though the content is not that much important for the NABAD grade A aspirants but this series will give you an orientation of the kind of questions asked and which would be helpful for you guys to filter out the important news and the content of the series is available in the PDF form in our telegram channel which is given in the link below and here is the good news for the aspirants of the IBPS AFO exam we are going to soon come up with an interesting test series for the exam which is going to be a lot of help for you guys Okay, so let me just quickly tell you about our NABAD Grade A 2019 course. It is a full video course which consists of videos, notes, MCQs as well as worksheets. And currently we are running a discount of 15%. You just need to use the coupon code EARLY15. Here is the MRP you can see in the slide. So just go and use the coupon code. Okay, and let me just tell you about the various other courses which are offered by EduTap. Here is RBI Grade B 2018, RBI Grade B 2019 and CTEC 2018. And we are also offering the UPSC Indian Economy course for general studies. It will be covering your prelims as well as mains syllabus comprehensively. Okay, so in this particular video, we are going to cover your agriculture and related current affairs from the month of April. And since this is part one, so we'll be coming up with another part for coverage of the April month together. And in case you guys have missed our January, February and March months, you can just go back and see the uh, those videos as well so that you are able to cover these all the current affairs simultaneously. Okay, so first news of the day is about a very important scheme from West Bengal that is the Rupa Shri scheme. See, after uh, this, uh, there is one another important scheme of the West Bengal government that is Kanya Shri. It is about the uh, education of the uh, girl child so, that, so as to prevent the early marriage and after that West Bengal has come up with this Rupa Shri scheme. It is again related to the marriage of poor girls. Now. Here in this particular scheme, marriage assistance to girls would be given to of the economically weaker families and a budgetary allocation has even been made. So uh, this is again important and let me just tell you that the Kanyashri scheme which uh, West Bengal is already running since 2013, it has got appreciation from UNICEF as well. So now this is on the lines of Kanyashri, this is Rupashri scheme and another important scheme which is being run by West Bengal is this Manabik scheme. You can just go through it. It is about a monthly pension of rupees 1000 to persons with disabilities. So these are the three very important schemes from the state of West Bengal. Okay, so our next news is again very much important. It is about the agreement with World Bank for Maharashtra project for climate resilient agriculture. Now see, government is giving a lot of push to climate resilient agriculture uh, along with uh, organic farming and zero budget natural farming. We have talked about these farmings in our previous videos. So now you must be aware about all those. Now here in this particular uh, news, we get to know that government of Maharashtra and World Bank have signed this project of a dollar 420 million to basically help the small and marginal farmers. Now it is giving a push to the small and marginal farmers and the loan will be for a period of six years. The grace period will be uh, six years and maturity of 24 years. So this is about the climate resilient agriculture and uh, yes, the government is also giving a push in the United Nations to declare 2018 as the world millet year. So uh, that is just to add on to this news. Okay, another important news is here AIIB that is Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank is going to provide a loan to improve the rural connectivity in Madhya Pradesh. So you just see that World Bank has sanctioned a loan for Maharashtra and AIIB is going to uh, provide the rural connectivity in Madhya Pradesh and this scheme will also be funded by World Bank as well. 
so it will be as i've mentioned here it will be co-financed by world bank as well so this is about the rural connectivity so so much focus is being given on the rural connectivity rural electrification organic farming and climate resilient agriculture you see so much importance is being given to villages as well as rural economic activities let us just see about aiib now in detail so this asian infrastructure and investment bank is basically considered as a brainchild of china as they proposed it in 2013 and the same initiative was then launched in beijing so uh, this aiib is all about the creation of the infrastructure in the asia pacific region so here the stakeholders of aiib are mentioned you can see that highest stakeholder is china itself and secondly it is india that is 8.52 and uh, uh, yes that would be all from this particular news okay so government bans the import of hormone oxytocin now see oxytocin we have even talked about this particular hormone uh, in our previous videos as well so now the government has come up with this ban of the oxytocin hormone itself now uh, this particular hormone has harmful effects and it is basically used in the livestock for the production excess production of the milk and even it is used in the vegetables now you can see such beautiful vegetables here maybe these are injected with oxytocin so just to curb all these activities government has come up with this ban so oxytocin is often called as the love hormone and it has various other uses you can just go through them and secondly there are uh, the list of the misuses which is being done for this oxytocin it's a controversial hormone which is used in the dairy industry and uh, even it is used for trafficking children and uh, it is uh, used to make animals barren as well so yes that would be all Delhi becomes first city to roll out the BS6 fuel. Now see, this uh, since uh, Supreme Court has ordered for the skipping of BS5 norm, uh, norms, that is Bharat Stage 5 norms and just directly going from BS4 to BS6. So Delhi has come out as the first city to roll out these norms. So BS6 fuel is like equivalent to Euro 6 emission norms. That is what we are basically following. And with this rolling out, as you see, NCR and Delhi, these regions are going through a lot of pollution due to the stubble burning and a lot of vehicular uh, pollution, etc. So this will help in the particulate matter emission to around 87% as compared to the uh, other ones. So you can see this is so much important now. Okay, so at the last news is related to the Vandhan scheme. Now this scheme is very much important as it has been launched by Ministry of Tribal Affairs and TriFed. Now this TriFed is basically a PSU of the Ministry of Tribal Affairs. It had been launched in April 2018 on the uh, celebration of Ambedkar Jayanti and it was launched in Chhattisgarh. Again, it is important for us to note down. and. Uh, you see, I have mentioned here for you guys various schemes like Vandhan, Jandhan and Gobardhan schemes. These are basically the schemes uh, for giving the potential of tribal rural economic system. So uh, in this Vandhan scheme, let us see about this minor forest produce basically where the utilization of the natural resources will be done. So uh, uh, the minor, minor forest produce has recently got a definition that is in 2007 and uh, the minor forest produce are basically the all non timber forest produces like bamboo, brushwood, stumps, canes etc. You can see the tribal people have they depend on the living for all uh, these things so these are very much important and now government has come up with this particular scheme for the welfare of the tribal people. So Vandhan uh, Vikas Kendras have also been come up along with the implementation of these schemes. So that's it guys. These were the news from the uh, April month. And in case you guys have any query relating to our course or this particular exam, you can just drop us a mail at hello at rate at utab.co.in. You can even give us a call at 8146207241. And our website mentioned here www.edutab.co.in. You can visit it anytime. And just before going, please note down the link 
uh, the telegram channel link where uh, you can download all the content sheet of this particular series it is also mentioned in the description below and stay tuned for next part as well if you guys li like this video please do not forget to click the like subscribe and share and thank you guys have a happy learning